Hello and uh, welcome to my channel on human design. My name is Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for 25 years, uh, 20 of those uh, training professional analysts to do readings, among other things. Um, today uh, we're going to be looking at the money game and I have an important announcement at the end of this, uh, this short video, so I'd like you to uh, watch that as well. The money game, so it's really about uh, within human design, human design is the um, the mechanics of the Maya. And everything that is in the Maya can be covered with it in one way or another. And when it comes to money, that as well. Um, I mean, making money is uh, not an easy thing. You know, to make money, one has to be uh, ready to... Um, embrace the third line themes uh, within the frequencies so um, the third line themes of being able to adapt to be able to learn by trial and error um, to be able to attune to the turmoil of the changes that happen along the material way you know, people that stay with trying to sell the same thing as the time changes, they're not going to do very well. You know, they have to keep changing. They have to keep adapting. There has to be this this movement, this uh, creative, mutative movement in order to be involved with the the money game, if you like. And it's not easy for a lot of people, however, and, and because they don't want to fail. You see, you've got to be ready to fail. If you're going to walk the trial and error path, you've got to be ready to fail. You've got to be OK about it. You've got to pick yourself up and carry on with the next thing. You know, keep on going. That sustainability that is in the third line theme, it's part of the material way. Now, uh, the way to look at it from a human design point of view is to, th to think about what money is. And the fact that it isn't a natural part of who we are. It's not, you know, the, the spirit that we are doesn't give a damn about making money. It just wants to live its life. And yet we are in a life that has been created by the not self. And money and the desire for money has pervaded every aspect, pretty much every aspect of, of the world. And so we can see by looking at design, really, how to sell to the not self. And there are a vast majority of people, um, people that are involved in human design are, uh, Ra calls us a, a new fractal. You know, we're something new in the world because we do have the wisdom of the knowledge. And it's about using that wisdom of the knowledge in this sense, using the knowledge of how to make money through the science in order to maintain living a correct life in a not self world where money and exchange is all part of it. So let me give you a little taste of it. Um, if you look at the, the centers, if you look at the nine centers <clears throat> in the body graph, and you think about the openness and you think about where you are open there, where you are open is where you can get lost in the not self, but it's also where you get to learn, where you get to go to school, where you really become very wise. If you're awake, if you're more awake, the more awake, more wisdom that you will have in those in that openness. So we look at the centers as profit centers. And if you look at which are the best profit centers, it depends on the rarity. So if we look at the head center, this is the primary profit center as seen through human design because 71% of people have it open. So those 71% of the population are looking for inspiration, looking for inspiration from the past, looking for inspiration from the future, looking for inspiration through occult knowledge in the mystical way. You know, there's, there's so many people, the vast majority are looking for inspiration. If you've got that center open, you're going to be wise about what is inspiring. And it's something that you can you can put out to people <clears throat> a bit like myself. You know, I've got it. I've got it with the 63rd gate. So here I am inspiring you with how you can you can live your life better in the future. 
if you follow your strategy and authority, if you understand who the hell you are. Um, if we look at the next one, that would be the will center. 65% of people in the world have the will center open. And in the not self, it is trying to prove yourself, you know, feeling a lack of worthiness, something I did a video on recently. So in the, as a profit center, it is how to sell value, how people can feel more valuable. You know, it's a major material center in the, uh, <laughs> in the system. So it's, it's, it's a lot of it's about money and how you can feel more worthy by getting more money or whatever it may be. There are so many different ways of selling people how to prove themselves through uh, trainings and through um, all kinds of um, guide, um, guide systems that are out there. How you can prove yourself and you can get this qualification and you know show people who you really are in this over -ex over exaggerated way um if we look at the solar plex there's about 49 percent of people have this open so this is going to be about the selling of pleasure it's a center of pleasure and pain so in human design terms selling the pleasure of what it's like to live as yourself how that what it's like to really be you you know to be able to 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 show people by by showing the emotional people more about the clarity that comes and goes in them and what it is that that what are the themes within them so they can get a, a handle on this this chaotic nervousness that that's always moving through them if we look at the root this is uh, in the not self people are you know running around in a hurry trying to be free of the pressure so all those things that are sold to people who want to be free of the of the pressure am i going to be okay when i get older you know sell them the pensions i want to be free of the work sell them the dreams etc cetera, etc cetera. i mean it's all quite uh, an ugly business money and and selling to people but it is mechanically what happens and what is in the world. If we look at the, the open spleen, this is about a, a feel good factor. Well, all the ways that you can sell to people about how to feel better, uh, how to be healthier, um, how to uh, be more safe and secure because of that vulnerability in the open spleen. If you think about the G center, this is about uh, uh, people uh, running around looking for direction and love in their lives. So, you know, you could all the things from from maps to uh, um, to dating services and all kinds of things can be uh, you can be wise about in having an open uh, an open G and many more. Uh, if you think about the throat, you know, it wants to attract attention. Uh, so selling people ways to attract attention through stories and through details and through um, the, the legends and all kinds of things, how to attract attention. If you think about the Ajna, um, this is basically a conceptual mind and people that have it open want to be certain. So you, se you sell them the certainty, you know, with this idea or this philosophy, and all this insight, and so it goes on and on. Now, one of the uh, the announcement that I wanted to make is that I've been working very hard recently in order to uh, get out a new release that times with this new uh, video, and I've just done it. So uh, I'm a bit tired, but at the same time, rather exhilarated. The 64 material ways, which was uh, Ra's, I think it's about eight hours long, uh, course on um, on all that I'm talking about in the details, going to all the third line themes in each of the centers, so the 64 material ways, is now available for the first time in the world as a film, because I have the rights to the films that I did with Ra. So this is the first time you can actually see him teaching this uh, with the diagrams and with his expressions as he does it. And I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. 
and I've just done it. So you can get that in the link below. Um, if you want to know about the third line themes uh, yourself, you need to have one of these. This is the Ray V. Ching. I mean, if you're going to study or if you're going to be interested in human design, you've got to have a Ray V. Ching um, because all the encrypted knowledge is within that book. And it's amazing what you're going to uh, what you're going to read. You won't understand it all, but the recognition of the truth in it is phenomenal. So again, there'll be a link down below if you want to get one of those. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please uh, like and subscribe and share it. I'll be back with another theme very soon. Bye for now.